Forecasting change, startling projections predict many of our homes could be underwater in mere decades with the Jacksonville area at high risk for continued sea level rise. New research shows more than 500,000 people across the U.S. could be impacted. News for Jax reporter Vic Michalucci shows us why experts say everyone should take notice. Hurricane Irma in 2017 left much of downtown Jacksonville and surrounding neighborhoods underwater. The river and the road merged. Even after the storm passed through, flooding continued for days. It was a sobering reminder of what happens when waters creep up, a foreshadowing of what experts say could be to come more often. A new report led by Virginia Tech researchers suggests the problems will only get worse over time, even when there isn't a strong storm. Sunny day and tidal flooding will cause significant damage. Disappearing cities on U.S. coasts. That's the name of the project, and the projection is more than 500,000 people could be affected by sea level rise by 2050. That may seem far away, but it's only 26 years from now. Miami and Savannah seem to be in the worst danger, but Jacksonville also has a large risk, especially along the waterways and wetlands. In fact, coastal communities from Texas to Massachusetts are in a bad spot, cities labeled as sinking. So Mark, as someone that's a meteorologist, you're very in tune with our environment. Have you seen these changes firsthand? Yeah, and you don't have to look too far back in time. You know, the water level in the Atlantic has risen over six and a half inches since 1960. And when you look at the amount of flood days hitting Mayport, it has increased threefold since uh, 2013. News for Jack's meteorologist Mark Collins says the changes are real and they're concerning. Do you see these problems with sea level rise as man-made? It's definitely man-made. There's no doubt about it. An increase in carbon and greenhouse gases caused in part by transportation, manufacturing, and excessive energy use makes a damaging combination. Experts say we have to prepare for the future, maybe not build in the most flood-prone areas. And if we are building, do it to better standards, bake our homes and businesses higher up and stronger, and then also work on better infrastructure, the things underground that deal with drainage and flooding. Scientists say while it's hard to slow down or reverse climate change, it can be done. It takes everyone to cut down on energy use and keep the planet clean. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. Vic recently went to South Florida to speak with one of the world's leading sea level rise researchers about this, and he found a coastal city with solutions to flooding problems. You can watch that in-depth report in our Solutionary series on YouTube. Just scan the QR code you see on your screen now.